take two. <laughs> so, uh, and I'm going to speak up better because my voice is in and out. I still have strep, but I'm peroxiding. Um, this 4th of July has been pretty bittersweet. Um, I'm ending it alone with Gentleman Jack. I love you. Um, and, uh, it's, I've had some stuff, I've got some heavy stuff on my brain that I'm going to talk about a little bit. Um, one of the main things is, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking very seriously about how I'm going to maintain a friendship with a particular guy. And it's not anything bad that has happened. Um, but I will say I fucked everything up. I know it. Um, I don't think he'll ever tell me because he, he, he thinks that it'll hurt me. But I already know. Um, and, you know, but long story short, I love him. And he's straight and completely unavailable to me. Um, as anything other than a friend. Which I'm actually perfectly fine with really genuinely but I don't know there just seems there's something there and I don't know if it's I don't know where the weirdness is I don't know um, and some stuff that I saw months ago uh, is bearing out um, and you know, I just want him to be happy uh, whatever that means um, and I would like to be a better friend but I don't know I don't know if I know how to be I don't know if the people that he's saving. He has that Superman complex. Um, can let me be a part of his life in any way. Um, I don't know. And I'll try to speak up better. Um, it occurred to me a little a moment ago that I should really text my have, should have really texted my brothers, but we're really bad about communicating with one another. I want to get I want to work on that in the future, and because uh, one lives in Tehachapi, maybe he'll get tased. I would really love video, but I don't expect it. And. Uh, then the other one lives six hours away to the east ish I don't know exactly I haven't been to his house in a while we're, kind of, we're, we're honestly kind of estranged you know? um, I was angry with him and I'm not really sure why it kind of sprung up it was unreasoning um, and I don't I don't think I have it anymore I'm not as angry as I was. But I have noticed that uh, I've been wallowing in the past, the last few months. And on a certain level, I'm not going to beat myself up over it. <clears throat> because I'm I have been finding and discovering that in more ways than I knew I'm still getting better from where I was and uh, I was kind of uh, I was really creepy um, to Deb Fox and Brian 
Um, and that's not who I am. They got to see my crazy. And normally it's more fun than that. Um, but you know, I, I am getting better, and they are part of what has made me become a better person. So if you have, if you are not a subscriber and viewer of Depth Fox among the other people that are that I have listed on my main page, um, do so. Watch them. They they are doing amazing work and they're helping more people than I think I ever will in my life. Um, just that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> some of us are hubs, some of us are not. And, uh, they're amazing people. Um, I think even now I'm kind of trying to cry a little bit, but it's all good. <clears throat> um, so, what I did do, sorry, I've got crap in my eye. What I did do on this fourth is uh, sleep, <sighs> do some editing for rodeo, um, and uh, I went and watched a movie. Took my took myself out on a date, and. Uh, then I uh, went and hung out with some pretty good friends. They were there when I needed them. Um, and it was nice. It was fun. They decided to go karaoke, and uh, I'm not a club guy. Um, and I was not in the mood, not feeling the need. to belong, whatever it was. Or maybe I felt the need to wallow. I don't know. Um, I'm going to finish my jack and call it a night at some point. Um, but the movie I went and saw was actually really good. It was an awesome movie. Uh, it's Ted, you know, the Mark Wahlberg and Seth MacFarlane collaboration. There's an awesome gay thing going on that in, in the movie that you need to see. If, if you like seeing men doing certain things with men, go see it. And it's not going... And I have to say... It was pretty innocent. It was nothing really all that <gasps> by any means. It wasn't. Um, you, you see racier stuff on YouTube. But even that little bit from two straight actors... had people in the audience here gasping in shock and I may have been gasping as well but it was not in shock it was in oh my god it's awesome um because I love Patrick Warburton and Ryan Reynolds was yummy what was, is, he always is, um, and, uh, the fact that they were, that they were willing to do that, uh, awesome, 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 and, uh, one of them played a silent role, which is odd, um, and it's one of the best performances I've ever seen. It's a little bit creepy and a little bit, hmm, but it's awesome. Um, 
Yeah, it's totally awesome. Um, and uh, Mark Wahlberg is always delicious. Always. Um, I, I don't care that he's a straight Catholic boy who decided to get his tattoos removed, but what the fuck is, is with, up with that jackass? Um, I love tattoos, and I love Mark Wahlberg. But anyway, um, you know, it's his body, his decision. Um, but uh, it's a nice movie. Uh, and, and even though it's rated R, it's a very sweet movie. Uh, there's no reason in the world not to go see that movie. It's awesome. Um, on just so many levels, it's awesome. Um, but, yeah. For that, I'm going to call this video done. That way it's not for freaking ever. Um, Blessed be.